Well, hello friends and welcome to another video. We're gonna, this is another Night Erica problem. Night Erica was busy in the month of late October because it takes a while for stuff to get here from Lithuania. This is from Lithuania. It's uh, from a linen specific yarn shop, but also I think there's things other than linen yarn in here. I believe I bought some wool yarn that was dyed as well. But anyway, point is, uh, I got real into the weaving, as you know, and now it appears that I, I just test looms of all sizes, expenses, and quality, which is fine. I'm enjoying the loom testing, but that means we need a Lithuanian yarn because my husband's Lithuanian, and somehow it makes my brain okay with spending money on yarn if it supports Lithuanian companies and also lets me weave something for my house. Whatever, that's how my brain rationalizes the purchase, but uh, went a little overboard got some variety packs. Uh, and then they had this linen braid that sounded so fun to line things in. So I, I got a bunch of that too. I, I don't know that it was on sale. I, I just got it. Anyway, this came all the way from Lithuania. So it took almost a month, but I'm very excited to unbox it with you. And I hope you will come along. All right. Here's a big Lithuanian box of yarn wonders from Linen Spirit. Lithuania has, and the Baltics, I mean, but Lithuania has a huge history with uh, flax and linen. They have many different gods devoted to such things. In Latvia and in the Ukraine, they have uh, goddesses that run around in the fields, and that's why you're not allowed to work at lunch, is because that's when the uh, witches will kill you in the field. All right, so we got wool and linen from Linen Spirit here. Wonderful. We have three perfect colors of the Lithuanian flag, which will be excellent for making my husband a Lithuanian hat. My goal is to get a... <laughs> get myself... Oh my gosh, why am I doing this with the box four inches from you? Okay, I'm gonna move the box. Good lord, Erica. Come on. All right, box down. All right, here's our first three. This is more normal. All right, so we have the colors of the Lithuanian flag. I don't know that these were naturally dyed. They may have been, and I will try to double check. But I wanted to get something so I could weave my husband a hat, and hopefully I will be getting myself one of the circular knitting machines, and we can test those as well. So here's three balls of wool yarn, not linen. And then I also got what I believe, oh my God, these are huge. Scary, okay, oh boy, Erica. Okay, so here's our other wool. I'm going to leave the linen for a second. Oh, good lord. Oh, that's wool. that's linen too. I thought there was supposed to be three balls of green yarn. What am I missing? I've got a lot of linen. Oh, good lord, Erica. All right, well, uh, night Erica really did one in. Okay, so we have a couple different shades of green here that I thought would be nice for weaving. These are fairly soft. I think that they'll be really nice as hats, and probably once you work them a little bit, they'll get a little softer. Beautiful yarn, so super bouncy. Very nice. We have this stuff. This is the trim I was telling you about. This is linen trim. Oh my gosh, this feels so strong. You could build a boat with that. Cool. Yeah, you could stitch that onto something as trim. It's flat some of them are flatter than others i would say the round the black is not very flat it's quite round whereas this natural color is quite flat for most of the braid and the white is kind of in between it's narrower but flatter some really cool undyed and this is bleached linen braid very cool okay then we have I felt it would be necessary to get myself some weaving stuff in case I got a really fine yarn. Oh my gosh, there is so much on here. What was I thinking? This is like an actual weaver's amount of, of, of yarn. Oh, Erica, what have you done? Where are you even going to store this? Where are you going to put all this yarn? You don't have anywhere for this yarn. You don't do yarn sports anymore. Oh boy. Well, we're going to save the bags. <laughs> I have somewhere to put them. But look at how beautiful these colors are. Flax is not an easy thing to work with. I invite you to Google. Oh my god, no, don't you dare even consider tangling. I don't know how to fix you at all. I am not skilled enough to own you, is what I'm learning right now. Uh, anyway, um, they also had linen boucle 
yarn, which look, it's like what Jackie O's suit fabric would have been made out of. That might have been a cotton, but look at it, this is linen. This was made from flax. Seriously though, Google the processing of flax. It's horrible. It looks absolutely miserable. There is so many steps. But I thought how cool this would be to weave with and how pretty that would be. And we should have a couple more. Yep, we have a classical red. So I could probably, my night Erica was probably envisioning another Lithuanian flag situation happening here. Uh, well, not quite, well, unless it's a very natural green one, not quite. But we also have, look at this aqua linen boucle yarn. If I'm saying that wrong, I'm sorry. And then we have just some aqua. You can really kind of see how plant-like it is when you look at it up close. It looks very almost grassy. But I think this is like actually a weaver's quantity of, of yarn. Like you would put this in, into like an actual, like a, like a, like a semi-pro loom, we'll call it. I feel underqualified for half of the products I have purchased. These will be fine, the big yarns. Those will be great. Um, I feel underqualified for these, but I'm not sad that I own them. Look at how cool that is. It's all just like, I have to look up what machine makes boucle because that's so cool looking. Anyway, they did not include any particular piece of paper in there, but this is from Linen Spirit and they are located in Lithuania. I am really stoked on how cool, and it's so strong, like I can't even tell you, you could, you could weave pine needle baskets with this stuff. It is ferocious and the wools look beautiful. So if I weave anything with them, you will be the first to know. And I'm glad to have introduced you to some of the new yarn family that I didn't um, technically have a place for before I purchased. Anyway, I hope you will tune in for another video and see what I make with all of this nonsense uh, in someday soon, because uh, I, got a, I, I got a new loom and there's a bunch of stuff happening. So we'll see where we end up with that. Maybe I'll have a new loom soon enough to put the fancy linen string strands through because my God, you would have to weave something so fine to make that into fabric. How exciting. I'm very excited. I hope you're excited too. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.